Oh, I hope I catch some. She's been asking me to take her coffee fishing since May 12th. <laughs> <laughs> that was the day we came back from California. And I didn't get to catch any more crappie. So hopefully today. We can fulfill her craving. How much does it take to get a good quality rod and reel? Good question. Like how much money does it cost? Good quality rod and reel? You know. To be quite honest with you. If you bargain shop, you can find a good rod and reel that's decent quality. But quality doesn't like until you become a lot better angler, quality doesn't matter. I don't feel. I feel like if you can buy a rod and reel and get out there and fish and catch fish with that, you know, mediocre rod and reel that might cost you forty to fifty bucks. You'll be perfectly fine. Once you continue angling and you decide that this is what you want to get, you know, you want to invest into it and actually make your hobby or, you know, if you're just a salmon angler and, you know, just during salmon season you go fishing, then invest money when you know what you're doing. I say get tackle before you get a nice rod and reel. Tackle's going to be the killer. So spend your money on the different baits and lures and that stuff before you spend all your money on a good rod and reel. Mm-hmm. And we are fishing. Up there? This thing right here? Yeah, I don't see why not. Just gonna fish this little crappie jig like it's a tube, bass jig. Fish on. Crappie. <laughs> that one's going to get added to the stringer. You got the stringer. I thought that was a fish that hit it. Crappie. Crappie. Heck yeah. First little crappie. 
Uh, they are tiny compared to Clue. There's some big ones in here, though. Good. They're exactly where I remember them being. Here? Right down here. I felt them hit it, and I was like, it might be a fish. Stringer feels a little bit beefier than the one we had last time. Good, because we broke our last one. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to put them on the end of the dock. Okay. Right there in that bottom zipper. Excuse me. She's going to cheat. She's going to put on the green crappy nibble. We all going to be all sparkly today. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Woo! You gonna come back and cast over here, Ashton? I'll give you a piece of crappie noble if you want. They're sitting right there next to that black thing. Ashton, so right over here, you want a piece of crappie noble? That's how we do it there, Bush. Get them crappy. Get them crappy. Add them to the stringer. They bite a little different here. You'll just feel it in your rod. You'll feel a little thump. Ashton, you'll see your bobber go down. Don't set your hook too hard because they have really soft mouths. Yep. It seems like they're kind of close to the bottom. Got one? Put them on the dock. You got, you need some help, Ashton? Well, his line's tangled, I think. Not a girl. I remember the good old days when my dad used to let me skip school to go fishing. Oh. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Ashton, make sure you keep jigging and like and you jig and then walk and, across. and then move it like sideways as you jig. Oh yeah. We're gonna be eating good. We gonna be eating good. We only need one at a time. Trust me. <laughs> and I got a little bit with nothing. I like the Well, this made my day a little better. Catch, so this makes my day a little better. Ooh, yeah, he crushed it. Ouch. Ouch. 
<laughs> yeah, he's poking me. <laughs> Crappy! Babe, I'm telling you, work it like we work Clear Lake. Yeah, just cast it down the side and work it in. You could. There's another one. Uh, the crappy king. <laughs> right? Uh, still got to give a shout out to the crappy king. But on that dock, on that particular dock, because it moves so much, nobody else wanted to come out there. But we had the whole entire dock to ourselves besides the crappy killer. The crappy king came out there and... <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, it's a good one. I'm in the hole. Right? That's how it is, man. Crappy, crap, crappy. Gotta have that crappy for dinner. You know, I caught a bunch of bass on crappy jigs casting out towards that pole before. That's the only reason I know they're under this dock. What? No. It's in the ground. It is? Uh-huh. Oh, come on, crappie. There he is. Dinna nina nina. Crappy in and in there. Crappy in and in there. Crappy in and in there. Gotta catch the crappy. Catching all the crappy to go in the frying pan. <laughs> crappy. As, uh, oh goodness, what's his name? Uh, Extreme Philly Fishing would say, uh, McCrackiness, Minuteness. <laughs> Ouch, he just poked me. He's like, that's not my, my real name. <laughs> oh. No! Oh no! I dropped the hook. I'm never sitting up there anywhere. Mm. I used a rod that was supposed to catch a whale. <laughs> Would it be easy peasy to catch a regular fish? <laughs> Guys, <laughs> leave them a comment below. If you use a rod, I'm not sure if you heard them. If you use a rod to, that's used to catch a whale, <laughs> would it be easy peasy to catch a regular fish? Yes. Guys, you can show him what they use to catch whales. Somebody just comment below and show them what they <laughs> use to catch whales.